So just completed a two hour drive down to Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge. Um, it's been cloudy for the past couple days. Actually it's been raining for the past couple days. It's cloudy now. It is supposed to be clearing off, but it is not cleared off quite yet. So I guess I'm just gonna be waiting around to see what happens. Um, I would like to go after that comet again. Comet Work Tannin. Um, it's about 3 a.m. on the 12th. I'm sorry, December um, 17th. And 3 o'clock in the morning, as I said. Um, comet's going to be kind of high in the sky, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a, a true landscape picture with the comet. Um, I'm also not sure how well it's going to come up, even though tonight is its closest approach to Earth. Um, so I noticed a lot of people online are using trackers. You know, um, they go, they go on top of a tripod and it tracks with the night sky, allowing you to take longer exposure. So I noticed a lot of people using those to get like two and a half minute exposures and they got real nice looking comet pictures but I don't have a tracker so just have to see what I can actually get if it clears off if not hopefully the sudden rise will be pretty good so hopefully I'll get something here but it's gonna be a, a little while but I got cabin fever from the rain for the past couple days I had to get out so here I am um, just sitting outside of Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge it is quite dark here, which is very nice. But I have to wait. Sunrise is at 5. No, sunrise is at 7. A little after 7, so I've got 4 hours till sunrise. So hopefully it'll clear off before then. Astronomical twilight is around 5.40, so I've got about 2.5 hours for that. After that, the comet's going to be pretty much invisible due to the brightening sky. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens, see what comes out of this. I will keep you updated. Alrighty, so it is 5.20 and the clouds just cleared, but the comet has already set, so... So, I'm, uh, clouds are gone, so I don't even know about the sunrise now, so... We'll just have to see what happens. But it finally got clear, and it's cold. It's 42 degrees, but, you know, well... It's not too bad. So this is what I'm eyeballing for sunrise. We're back off the of Hooper's Island, back to, um, back to Blackwater, and I am eyeballing this for my sunrise shot. Sun should rise right around that island, that island, and I think it's going to be decent at worst. See those beautiful stars still out. Island. So we're about T minus an hour till sunrise. So hang tight. This could be interesting. So this is the morning that's unfolding. Not too bad. It's nice and pretty out here in the black water. And this is what I'm shooting right now is over here the island again.
All right. The sunrise looks like it's going to fizzle out a little bit, so I'm going to stop waiting here and I'm going to go capture something else. I've got it in mind. That'll probably be for next video. So until then, hope you had fun and I will see you next time. Bye bye.